Hi, so I'm going to demo here how to use WinSCP to generate a public key private key and what to do with that public key such that you can log in via a SFTP server without a password. So I am going to go on to the client and I've downloaded WinSCP and I'm going to have the URL for the download in the description area. So what I'm going to do here after downloading and installing WinSCP, I'm going to go to under tools, I'm going to run PuttyGen and I am gonna say generate and when I generate I have to move my mouse so I have to move my mouse in order to to generate a random key here so after I generate the random key I'm gonna save the public key and private key onto my um, onto my system and what I do is I'm gonna give the public key to the administrator of the SSH server or the SFTP server and they will have to put that in a specific location for you to log in without a password. So I'm going to go through all of that after I generate this key but I just wanted to do this uh, step by step and uh, it's almost done here. And you'll notice it generates a key so I did use the default SSH2 RSA and the bit length of 2048 so I'm going to save my private key and you have an option of using a passphrase for your key so if you use a passphrase for your key you're going to be prompted to type in the passphrase much like a password when you log in so I am going to skip that or, or actually I am going to put in a passphrase I'm just going to say password because I have another key that had with that doesn't have a passphrase so I want to demo that also so I'm going to save the private key and I'm just going to name it key2 and I'm also going to save the public key here and I am going to name it key2pub so incidentally I've, I've already saved the the first key onto the server so you'll notice here up top it says cut and paste this into your OpenSSH authorized key file. So normally what you would do is you would send the administrator this this public key. So pretend I sent this my key 02.pub to the administrator of the SFTP server and he receives it and he's going to paste it onto his desktop here and he's going to open this up and edit it and he's going to get a file that looks like this and what he has to do is go into the user folder that's going to use that public key and has to create a folder .ssh and he's going to have to do that via the command line or if you're in unix you could set it up in unix the same way uh, most unix uses open ssh so this is the same procedure so under authorized keys I already have a key in here so I'm gonna be putting another key and the key expects let me open this up in textpad because it shows the lines all in one line so the key expects the prefix of SSH and the key in one line so the key format that is received looks like this but I have to copy the entire body here and paste it into the file and get rid of the lines putting it all in one line and you'll notice I have to get rid of one more line that's really it so so if I save this file now I can log in via two keys so if after the administrator does that let me demo going back to where the user is I am going to go into WinSCP now the first key I have here does not require a password so let me demo that here when I'm logging in you will notice it doesn't require a password it doesn't prompt me for anything and also when I created the key I didn't specify a passphrase so it also did not prompt me for that now for me to set up the second key I'm gonna open up WinSCP again and I am gonna have a new login here and I am gonna call this uh, I'm logging in as the same user but different key 
I'm going to leave the password blank because I'm not logging in via password. Click advanced. Click authentication here. Point it to the key, my private key. So my private key that I'm using is 02. And I'm going to click OK here. And I'm actually going to save this. And I'm going to save it as key 2 so we could distinguish between the two keys. Keep in mind my key 2 had a passphrase. And I'm going to log in. And you'll notice it's going to prompt me for a passphrase as you can see. And I'm going to type in my passphrase. I could also click remember but I'm just going to type it in. So now I'm logging in without the normal credentials of username and password. So there you go. That's how you log in without the username and password, but via a public key, private key exchange. And uh, thank you for watching.